Boss is coming to town. Scrooge, Elf, and a Christmas Story. All versions of Scrooge. And coffee and lemon cake. Still got some lemon cake. And I have a caramel brulee cookie recipe. Thank you, Starbucks. Oh! Clip the angel. <laughs> Clip the torch. Well, actually, anybody gotta go. This show never gets old. Clearly, from my, you know, cover picture. Yeah. All of that. To whoever he goes to. He knows what. I don't really give a fuck how y'all feel about this holiday. Anything that makes that gives you an honest to God, genuine good feeling, especially in a world that we have right now with all the lies and spies and bullshit and division and the sinister Azazel spirit. If it makes you genuinely smile, go for it and fuck everybody else. They ain't got nothing but your joy. You deserve your joy. Give yourself a present. Be good to you this year. Don't sit on the throne of lies. Be buddy. <laughs> buddy was a troublemaker. I was talking to Doc about that today. We're in the league of troublemakers. Yay! Christmas spirit! Christmas spirit, activate! Or whatever spirit is up to. The spirit that is like surrounding me has already claimed me. That's all I'm going to say. And y'all can say it's fake, it's programming, it's this and that. Bitch, I live this shit. I'm sorry, mother. Just like the other. Yes, we'll never know for sure what happened this Christmas Eve Central Park. Spirit is real. You know, I had this wonderful conversation today with my uh, with my doc, with my with my therapist. I mean, I told you, I'd be in therapy for real. Ther therapy for therapists. You know, th therapists do therapists with therapists. And I, you know, I said something. We were both saying some really profound stuff. I knew it was going to, but here's the thing, and I, you know, because he, he's a Christian, and he believes in, in Jesus and all that, I am, I believe in spirit, I don't name, judge, or anything like that, and when you're in the military, you're, you're used to it with everybody, but I know spirit is real, whatever you call it, because you remember, the irony of why would it stop, why would it go out when I'm talking about spirit? And it didn't go out on anything like with Christmas and Buddy. Bottom line is, you have a lot of, quote, preachers and Christians or whoever, or pastors of any and all religions or whatever, who don't have a relationship with spirit. They have a relationship with religion. It's about money and doctrine. And, and keep in mind, you know, my therapist is a chap. So he's coming from a spiritual perspective, too. Real chaplains I love. Real teachers who are preachers I love. You fake ass motherfuckers can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. You do not have a relationship. When someone comes to you and talks to you about the spirit and the visions of the empathy, you find it to be delusional. You know why you find it to be delusional? Because you're a fucking fraud and you're a fucking fake. And I'm just, I'm just telling you that to your face as close as I can get to you because we know that whenever I come around, you start to burn. Why is that? Holy water does that. But I'm saying it is clear more than ever. And when I said that we both had a look of recognition, like I said, just the most profound shit. Because it's true. All these people who are you up in these churches with these so-called pastors and preachers and deacons and deaconess and whatever. And they have absolutely no relationship at all with God. They have a relationship with the fraud. They have a relationship with the religion. They have a relationship with the doctrine. They have a relationship with the congregation, such as it is. They have a relationship with all the, 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 the playbook. The playbook. 
but they don't have a relationship with the actual field, with the actual game, with the actual ball, with the actual ethics of what it actually is. They don't have a relationship with the earth. They don't have a relationship with the sky. They don't have a relationship with the stars, the waters, the natural elements, the alchemy. They do not have a relationship with creation. They do not have a relationship with God. God is the whole. Even even Doc says no because even the Bible was she. It's, 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 gen it's genderless. There's no gender. There's no he. It's genderless. See, y'all don't get it. And that's why I was saying, like, you know, I'm the, that's why I'm the troublemaker. Because it doesn't matter whose table you put me on. Whether it be LGBTQ, whether it be the Jew, whether it be the Hebrew. Because, you know, if you're Jewish and you and, 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 and you and when you want to call somebody anti-Semitic, then I'm going to get on you because you know the Jews are not Hebrews. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. And I get it. And I just say, if we can get on a table of real conversation and come to an agreement, and we can understand where everybody is and deal with truth. But people can't deal with truth and that's why they can't deal with critical thinking and that's why you can't deal with people who actually think critically because you're programmed into this bullshit and you can't get out of it. And that's why you have so many, quote, Christians who are fucked up and your pastors are fucked up and your deacons and your deaconess are fucked up and I'm not, you know, not knocking anything. I'm just telling an actual truth because you don't have a relationship with whoever you say you're serving, unless you're having a relationship with, you know, the type of relationships that you do. Like you do in Hollywood and all those other stuff. But it just ain't in Hollywood, it's everywhere. It's here too. So, that's all I had to say. Happy holidays and happy Christmas. But some of y'all need to, like, not stop knocking people who, if they want to celebrate the uh, winter solstice and not Christmas. Or if people want to put up Christmas trees. So, you know, it's Nimrod's birthday. Whatever, whatever, ever. Any type of argument you can have for or against Christmas right now. That's why it's no need for me to even come out and debate and even talk to people because they're right. You know, the people who who didn't like me in the very beginning, they were right. I know too much. I know too much. And when you know too much, it makes people nervous and people want to uh, take off your heads. It's like you, when you walk the, uh, as Doc reminded me today, when you walk the path, when you walk the calling, the calling is like, you're already doing it. You don't choose to walk it. You're already doing it. It chooses you. And that's why you have a lot of people who say they're chosen, but they're chosen by who? Who are you chosen by? The devil? I'm just saying, you know, okay, God, devil, devil, God might be the same, but I'm just saying, people don't have a relationship with what they say they worship. I have a tremendous relationship with what I believe in. That's why it actually works for me. I'm just saying. I'm all the good things. What would God's daughter be? Remember that when you cross me. For the 50,000th time. I rose. Get a real relationship in your life. Have a good night. So School Cafe comes on the way by, by the way tonight. 12 midnight. ASSK radio. Hopefully. Sam's a Pisces, and sometimes he does whatever he wants to do, so you just never know. But I did it, so see what happens. Like I said, I can just sit and chill for the till 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 Martin Luther King holiday. My shows are all me, me. I got my shows all in advance already through MLK. What was I thinking? I don't do anything early. Something's different. That's what I was telling Doc today. Something is revving up. When you get with the people who you really respect and you really appreciate their intelligence and their knowledge and you know they really are about what they're about and they actually see what you're saying, something's going on. You people better get right with yourselves. You're going to look for something to help and it's not going to come because you can't even get right with yourselves. Get a real relationship in your life. And maybe first you need to find what real is and apply that to you. Ho, ho, ho. Mary, Mary. <laughs>